Welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Google Pay and more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to add PayPal in as a payment method. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, I wanna let you know I'm working on an iPhone, so I have the Google Pay app installed here. It's a little different than what you use on Android or Samsung devices. Either which way, I'm gonna go ahead and open the Google Pay app right now. It's this white app with a colorful G. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a link there if you don't have this already. Okay guys, so I went ahead and opened up my Google Pay app or G Pay app. This is the home screen, so you'll have various notifications from Google on here. But if you're like me and you tried to add your PayPal account into your Google Pay app to use as a payment method, you saw that it's not really an option at all. So as you can see, I'm gonna click right here on payment methods. Okay, I went ahead and clicked on payment methods. And then usually what you're gonna do if you're gonna add payment methods into your Google Pay, you click right here on this blue line. I'm gonna click there now. All right, I clicked there. And then as you can see, there's no option to add PayPal. Even if you click right here, there's just nowhere to add it. So I found a workaround and what you wanna do is you need to go on the desktop version of Google Pay in order to add PayPal in as a payment method. Because on the mobile app, it's just not an option as you can see. So let me switch over to my desktop now. All right guys, I went ahead and switched over to my desktop and as you can see, here we are on Google Pay. So this is the website you wanna be at, pay.google.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link there. But once you're here, then you wanna go here to the section called Payment Methods, which is basically the same thing that we saw on the app. Once you're here, then you can click on this button called Add Payment Method. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. And then as you can see, we now have an option to add PayPal right here. So it's kind of strange. I'm not sure why they don't allow you to add it into the app, but here on the desktop version, it is an option. So all you do is click on Add PayPal. I'm going to click there now. All right, I click there and then what you want to do is click on this plus sign to add PayPal. I'm going to click there now. All right, next you want to click on this blue save button right here on the bottom left. I'm going to click there now. All right, and then automatically another window pops up that allows me to log into PayPal. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my PayPal credentials now. Okay, so I went ahead and logged into my PayPal through this screen. As you can see, it's saying this is for Google, for Google Pay. Next, you want to go ahead and verify the card or debit card or credit card you want to use through PayPal as your payment method when you're running a PayPal transaction on Google Pay. Be sure to read through this disclosure right here. And if everything looks good, go ahead and click this blue agree and continue button down here. I'm going to click there now. All right, just a few seconds later, the screen pops back up again. And as you can see, I now have my PayPal account added into my Google Pay account. And now I can use it as a payment method. So let me go ahead and switch back to my mobile device and show you my Google Pay account and show that the PayPal has now been added. All right, guys. So here we are back on my iPhone mobile device device. Let me go ahead and open up my Google Pay app now. Okay, I went ahead and opened up my Google Pay app and let me click on payment methods now. All right, and now as you can see here in my payment methods, I now have a PayPal account attached as a payment method. So there you have it guys, that is how you can add PayPal into your Google Pay app and use it as a payment method. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.